Hi everybody, Timmy MX here and today I want to show you how to remove noise in DaVinci Resolve after the intro. There are many ways to remove noise in DaVinci Resolve, even if there is only one native tool for that. But even if you can use this tool in different ways, for example on just one node, or on two or much more nodes, split it into separate channels and so on and so on. But what works best? How to find a great compromise between Luma noise and Chroma noise? And what if we have horrible massive noise? Or if it's just a bit of Chroma noise? To be honest, there's no one solution for everything, but with just three simple setups for noise reduction you can master it, promised. And now let's fight the noise. Hit the thumb up and subscribe for more content like this. Ok, let me first show you this clip here with a really horrible noise. As you can see, look at this. This is absolutely useless. The problem with this clip is that we have noise, difficult lightning and very fast motion in the scene. That's really a challenge because here we need a combination of temporal and spatial noise reduction. Let's go and try to fix this. We start with the simplest way, just one note. Normally I do noise reduction all the time in my first note, but you can do it after the primaries too, there's no right or wrong, I recommend to do it on front of all other steps, but behind the exposure is great too. Let's apply a spatial noise reduction on the second note here. Spatial noise reduction looks only on one frame at a time, while temporal noise reduction is designed to look one or more frames before and one or more frames behind the actual frame and builds up the noise pattern in combination of this noise of each single frame of this amount. I will not explain very detail here, I only want to show you three methods to get rid of noise. And if you use spatial, I recommend use faster or enhanced, more you will not need in practice. Faster is for less noise, enhanced for a lot of noise. In enhanced you can adjust luma and chroma separately, in mode better not. We have a lot of noise, so I choose enhanced. A similar radius offers greater real-time performance, but less quality. A larger radius is much better in quality, but at expense of slower performance. We need best quality, therefore I choose mode enhanced and a medium radius. In enhanced mode we can split luma and chroma and as you can see, if I play this clip we have both chroma noise and luma noise. Let's rise up the chroma slider to the max in comparison. With this simple step it looks much better, but still too much noise. Let's lift up the Luma to the max too. It makes everything look very flat and we lost a lot of details. You should know that Luma noise is more acceptable as Chroma noise, so you should always adjust this two kinds separately. And if you reduce Luma, be careful, because too much Luma reduction introduces much blurriness, blocking artifacts and such things. So always try to keep the Luma noise reduction low. If I lower the Luma slider to around something like this, it will do a great job too and I got a lot of details back. Now reduce the chroma and look how far you can go. Look for color casts, color shifts and for colored noise of course to address the level which works for you. There's no hard rule, it's finally your choice. One of the most important things in video noise reduction is, if there's no information the software can't get it back. The software can only try to blow it out, or in other words, dirt in, dirt out. But with noise reduction you can choose how the dirt should look like. And that's it finally. Let's reset that and let's try this with temporal noise reduction. I choose one frame because of this very fast motion. The faster the motion is, the lower should you choose the frame number. Let's start with motion range small and type better. Motion range is similar to radius in spatial noise reduction and I start with chroma, rising it all the way up and down again and up and now look at the parade while I'm doing that. 
You can see on the parade very good if there's noise and how your adjustment affects the noise. All you have to do in noise reduction is to find the sweet spot for Luma and Chroma noise. That's it. Look at your image and look at your parade. Find the sweet spot, balance it out and go on. Here we have this fast motion, therefore I choose a large motion range because a small motion range setting assumes slow moving subjects with little or no motion blur and large vice versa. And if you have such a fast motion, you should find the sweet spot for your motion threshold too. Not only for Luma and Chroma, okay? Let me show you. Okay, look at this. If I rise my motion threshold up, look at the image. Bleh, no, this looks terrible. If I lower this threshold, look, we get rid of such artifacts and blockings. Not always, but this works really, really great. Okay, now you know all you have to know about noise reduction to get good looking results with the simplest way to reduce noise in one note. But sometimes this one note method doesn't work well. Let's try another, a more advanced method. I reset that note and add the splitter combiner note by hitting option or alt and the key Y. This gives me this little stack here. The most upper note is my red channel, the middle green and the bottom note is blue. We try to reduce the noise now separately for every color channel. This makes only sense if we have too much red noise, for example, but almost no noise in the blue. Some call it the pro way. Finally, it's just another method with more control about the chroma noise by adjusting the color channel separately. But if I now lift up my chroma noise reduction slider, whether in chroma or luma, nothing happens, right? That is important to know. In noise reduction, in separate channels, only luma noise reduction works. I don't explain the details here deeper, just remember that. So if I rise the luma slider in the temporal noise reduction up, you can see that we address the red channel only only. Great! I try it for the green too. Look at the parade, look at it, see it. Always looking for the sweet spot, no magic, just adjusting and boom! We won! We fight it back, the green noise. But this battle goes on. Now blue, let's fight it. And bullseye! Direct hit! Blue noise is over! Okay, not really over, but we reduced every noise separately in this color channel. Finally, this was a second method. Let's delete that. Now the last method. All I want to do is to add two serial nodes for my noise reduction and it's quite simple. The first node is for temporal noise reduction and the second node I will apply a spatial noise reduction on top. Why? We have so much noise, difficult lightning and very fast motion in this shot and this together makes it really really hard to get rid of this noise in just one note. A better approach is to separate it into two steps. In the second note I will get a much cleaner signal and that makes it easier to apply a spatial noise reduction. That's the trick. So in the first I will stay on one frame and a large motion range, set my luma very very low because this is what I want to address with the second step and bring my chroma to around my sweet spot and of course bring down my motion threshold. In this second node I choose my enhanced mode and of course a large radius and here I will try to find my sweet spot for the remaining luma noise and the chroma because there's still chroma noise coming from this difficult and always changing lightning and this is with what I end up and yeah, okay, that's okay for me. I guess that's okay. So now you have three strategies or methods to remove the video noise from your footage. For sure, there are some more advanced methods. For example, to split the noise reduction into one for luma noise and one for chroma noise. But with these three techniques, you are well equipped for the fight against video noise. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching and listening. You are all a great time. Bye.